Time now for sports with Scott Green. Welcome back, everybody. Q2's Athletes of the Week delivered a thrilling finish in Saturday's Shrine All-Star football game. We televised it live for you here on Q2. Our Brandon Sullivan shows us why it meant so much to a first-time head coach. My dad used to bring me to the Shrine game every summer when I was growing up, and I can remember it way, way back. And, uh, you know, as a player, one of my biggest goals was to make this game, and unfortunately that didn't happen. I've um, been able to coach it as an assistant three times before this year, and then this year as a head coach. This was a homecoming for me, and to be able to be a part of something that means this much to me, do it in my hometown, and then have this incredible group of young men and coaches that just banded together and became a, a, such a tight-knit team in such a short amount of time. It's been a dream come true, and uh, probably one of the greatest experiences I've ever had as a football coach. In the end, it's really not about football. It's about making sure that the Shriners Hospital has money to help continue to serve um, you know, young kids with disabilities. But that being said, you know, we're gonna go to work. We're gonna get work done fast. You know, we're gonna try and limit the amount of reps we have to take. But, you know, we're gonna make sure we get it right before we walk away. those kids from the beginning my concern is making sure that they walk out of here a winner and they have a memory that they will always have and cherish and more importantly a brotherhood with these other players that you may have only known for eight days but it's gonna last a lifetime they'll always be Shrine Bowl champs and no one can ever take that away from them <laughs> 